This video will show guidelines to help you folks complete the falcada. If you wish to see the cutscenes related to Grey's playthrough, go to the Grey video. So, let's get this video started from the very beginning. Because I'm sure some people have problems here already. I have to warn everyone here, right up front, if this is your first playthrough, you really shouldn't play as Grey. I mean, I did, twice even, including the time I recorded this footage, but it's undeniably very hard. Especially if you're a beginner. So, um, if you plan to replay sometime later, and you're still just a few hours into Grey, please consider Albert. Really? Just saying, but, you know. Let us begin. First, talk to all the NPCs around town to find out clues about the mission. Then, go to the pub, talk with the bartender and the minstrel. Don't dismiss anyone, just tell him to play a song. Repeat this song playing until he joins your team. You could use another team member. Also, don't forget to equip proficiencies in the menu. With that done, leave the town and go to the cavern entrance located on the east of the plains. Be careful about the dinosaurs, you don't stand a chance against them yet. The cave is pretty linear, so you shouldn't get lost. You will run across the Falcala sooner or later, and... Uh, well, after that, go fight the boss located here and and head back to the city. And, well, talk with the blacksmith. Just add bronze to the Falcala. This is where your adventure truly begins. You'll have to keep using the Falcala until it levels up, which is when the number in its name goes up and the material name on it uh, will stop glowing red. Then you come back to a town, get a cutscene, and then add a new item to the blade. Rinse and repeat. I, however, have to mention a few things. Please consider these tips. Tip number one. The Falcada won't give you a cutscene in every city, so in case you don't get one, try going to a different city. Tip number two. If you use up all of the Falcada's DP, you'll have to reforge the material into it. For the start, all the items required will be sold in the blacksmith forge, so this won't be a problem for now, however it might become one later, so really avoid this. Tip number three. I strongly advise players to switch Grey's class to one that supports katanas. This will not only reduce the DP cost of the katana, it will also likely increase the chance of learning new weapon skills with it. Which will help a lot. My strongest advice is uh, to go for Estamir Rebel, which uh, can be learned in Estamir. An alternative would be the Martial Artist, which is available already in Geraldton. However, it's got uh, 6 skills instead of 5, which makes it a lot more expensive. And also, given how you probably will use the Falcata all the time anyway, I think the benefit of increasing the search level is uh, a lot more profitable than increasing your skills in a weapon that you won't even use. I'm entirely dismissing Draconite given how difficult to get that class is, and regarding the master class, later on it might be a good idea to change into, but let's first get our but first let's get our rebel or artist to class level 3. We'll come back to this. Oh, and uh, as another tip, reconsider having someone on your team with a class that uses short swords, like uh, the Imperial Marine. Just a possible suggestion, nothing else. Tip number four. I do realize how frustrating it can be to hold onto items, but no matter what, never ever sell Meteoric Iron or Moolock. These items will be required later on and of course, the rare finds, uh, well, Mulak perhaps less so, but Mulak number 7, uh, which needs... Uh, it's complicated. Just hold on to all those items. Don't throw them away, okay? Tip number 5. Regarding those two named items, uh, to increase the chance of obtaining them, whenever you fight a group of monsters, always kill the ones uh, with these names first. 
If you've obtained the Meteoric Iron already, or those monsters are not fighting, then defeat the ones uh, mentioned here. Obtain as much Mulok as possible. This With this, you'll have a higher chance of obtaining those items. And uh, if you think it's annoying and boring to force players to pay attention to monsters that they're fighting, relax, you can forget this entirely and focus on it once the item is required. Which is what I did when I was playing. And to your information, I had to spend 10 hours getting these items, so uh, just saying. I'm trying to help you here. Tip number 6. Do not teach magic to Grey. This might sound like a weird tip, but this game has a thing called crowns. If Grey will have 20 weapon skills while having only 2 spells, at best, he'll receive a DP cost reduction. It's uh, really helpful. Uh, well, in my entire game I only taught Grey two m cosmological spells and thus he earned a crown. In case you made the mistake and taught Grey more spells already, this'll mean you'll have to use different weapons uh, to obtain more techniques, however if you gave him more than four spells, you probably should just forget it. Uh, this isn't even required, but just uh, something that could potentially help you. I suppose these tips will do for now, so let's get started. Rounds is a pretty good start for the weapon, it reduces the DP cost, so even with no katana class yet, you can use it pretty well. Once it evolves, go to the store in Crystal City or maybe the one in North Point. The blacksmith there will have Rosalian Steel to offer, which will increase its attack power. After the next evolution, Sovereign Iron will be required and that one is available at the blacksmith in Valhallen or uh, the one in, Night in the Knight's Dominion. This again makes the katana stronger but does increase the DP cost of the weapon. This is the point where having a katana using class becomes uh, pretty essential. From here on out, things will even get more complicated. The next item, that is Martisite, will be easiest to obtain by buying it in the Oran Font store. However, that requires a proper brand level. Those do transfer from previous playthroughs, which again is why I advise people not to play Grey as the first one, but to those who are stubborn, yes, you still can do it. The brand level increases when you're buying items from or selling things to a specific vendor. Let's not get into details here, just know this, we need to get the store's cloth level to 15. Probably best if you do your shopping at the stores which have either the first or the second store's value at 300. This will mean that the brand level will only increase for these. Then just keep coming back to the store until Marzacite will not be sold out. The sold out thing resets every 5 minutes of gameplay, so uh, just have a little patience. So once you have the Marzacite, temper it into the Volcada, well, at a vendor that accepts your materials like the one in Bruel or the one in the Crystal City. This time, however, things get hard. The DP cost increases even more. I myself did still stick to my old strategy from before with Estimir Rebel, but it's admittedly a little frustrating to build a weapon that slowly breaks down. So here's an alternative that I've got. The Legendary Master Class. It's uh, not that easy to, to get as the other classes, but since after getting your class to level 3, you have access to individual training, obtain level 3 with these. Scimitar, Club, Katana, Pole Arm, Martial Arts, Bewitchery, and Covert. This should unlock Master for you, however, you can only switch to it uh, at Jelton. Hope you don't uh, trigger that one quest when coming back, uh, just saying. This class reduces co the DP. Co this class reduces DP cost even further, so I think uh, you will surely have an easier time now. Once that's done, you put in that uh, steel thread. Buy it if you haven't earlier. 
After that, uh, we get the very moment that Meteoric Iron comes into play. If you've been following my advice about killing those specific monsters, you should have it already in your inventory. Well, as I had, but, but uh, naturally, since you people disbelieve at my skills, I've decided to obtain it on my very own here. I'll get it. I'll get it afterwards to prove that it's possible. I hate you. All of you. The things that I have... Uh, whatever. I got it. A monster dropped it. And it wasn't on the first try. This takes very, very long. Which is why I'm telling you to try and get this as soon as possible, okay? I think one of the better places to fetch this might be Lake Malar. I'm not telling people to farm them uh, there right away from the start of the game, because it's only unlocked as a part of the quest, but once you're at that point, this might be the place. A lot of fishes are there, so you might find those croakers and jellyfish. <sighs> so we temper it in, and once more, this increases DP cost. But uh, not as badly as the Marxicide thing did, so... So you should be able to do it. Well, once you're done with that, we get the granddaddy of it all. Moolock. A lot of people seem confused, but there are apparently eight kinds of Moolock in this game. All share the same name. You can distinguish them by the effects they have when tempering weapons. Uh, for the final stage of the Falcada, we require type number 7. Just go to a blacksmith and check if any of your Moolock is the 7th one. That is if the material name glows red. If it doesn't, too bad. Just like me, you've been collecting all these Moolock for nothing. No! And in case it does glow red, Temper it, you lucky bastard! <sighs> but, let's get back to our unfortunate selves who were not so lucky. How will we get it? First, check if you've got Jewel Beast Slayer unlocked in the frontier. I'll assume you don't have it. First, you have to finish the Water Dragon Ride quest in Tarmida. Then, then, you revisit Strom and... This will activate his ecology quest. Pay attention to not kill any fishes in Kujara. This counts for Strom's Domain, the Lake, the Assassin's Guild, and the Estamir Sewers. You should uh, surely focus on killing the birds. Just remember that if you engage a fish in a battle, use the runaway option if possible. This way this won't count that you kill the fish. Every once in a while, come back to Strom and check up on how things look. If not, keep. If, if it's not it, keep fighting. Once the quest is complete, uh, you'll get Strom's weapon, the Serpent Brand. Told ya to use Imperial Marine, didn't I? <laughs> well, well, well. After that, come back to Strom and he'll tell you about the Jewel Beast Slayer. With that, place unlocked. Uh, go there with full health and most lucky buy a lot of magic that hits all targets. Uh, that'll make things easier. Stuff like Cosmic Tide, Shockwave, Mind Blast, Bird of Fire, Divine Lightning. Once you're inside the lair, quick save. Seriously, this is dangerous. Talk to one of the statues and you will engage in a dangerous battle. For example... For for explanation, we've got uh, four zombie dragons, which all can drop the mullock that we need. Lamia won't. This is why we're trying to kill her as the last one. She's uh, physically a lot weaker than the dragons, and she also has a lot less HP, which is why magic is the best solution. She's actually pretty resistant against it. The only real type of physical attack that you should use, uh, well, should be of the bla blonde type or something. In my case, I resorted to using uh, the Clob's Earth Dragon skill. 
it stunned the enemies pretty often, which let me survive a lot of turns without worrying about healing. So uh, that's the that's a strategy I advise. After the battle, do not save. Seriously, if you, if you even if you get a Moolock, don't. Leave the dungeon, go to a blacksmith, and see if it's the one that you need. If not, reset. Reset the game. Just keep soft resetting whenever you find the wrong Moolock. Or if you win in all four battles and you get nothing. And in case you have problems winning, relax. This is very difficult. Don't be afraid to come back later once you're stronger. And to all those who keep trying and trying and can't get it, I've heard people who needed to reset about 50 times before they got it, so relax, keep trying, it'll work out sooner or later. Would anyone be angry at me if I said that after a dozen times playing through, I start to really hate this game? Whatever. So we temper the proper Moolock in. We get Falcata plus 7, which raises the P cost to a crazy number. Even I had to surrender here. Master is the only way to go. You do not want to waste this. You have to make this work. Now, before you head out to use your fancy katana, I have to warn you, if you're playing as Grey, you should level somewhere close to South Estamir, Fallon Nile, or North Point. If those play in those places, Falcata, the Falcata scene won't trigger. Once it's all done, save, possibly rest in one of those previously mentioned places, and then head out to a proper place to launch the cuts, which will be followed by a fight. It could get rough if you obtain this final stage of the Farlkata pretty early, but uh, it's mostly just physical attacks. Just finish it off and be done with it. Congratulations! The Falcata transformed into the Demon Brand. A great weapon. And uh, you've got a slightly altered outfit for Grey. And remember, I had to do all this stuff twice. Once for myself a few years ago, and, say, and the second time now, to record this video. I just wanted to let you know that. Goodbye. Hey, it is I, Feral the Gecko. I hope you've enjoyed the video. In fact, I hope you enjoyed all the Romancing Saga videos that I made. But, uh, could I ask you a favor? Would you kindly check out my new channel? It's called Feral Forever. There, I review video games and TV shows. And before you start to wonder why you should care, the first video games that I'll cover will be part of the Saga series. That's right, you can expect Romancing Saga to be covered in the third episode. Or hey, how about you just look at my other Romancing Saga videos? My channel is the only place to see some of them, and yet a generic video of Final Fantasy XIII amongst thousands often gets more publicity. Let's change that now! Give them likes, spread the word, share them with other people, or, well, you could also check out my website. Follow any of my channels or, or follow me on Twitter. Please. I don't love the game as much as it may seem. I had a very, very difficult time recording this, and I'd want to get something for it, uh, at least something more than just a, okay, thanks, bye. Uh, thank you for your attention. Bye.